So you've undergone many multiple sessions of laser, but you find that your pigmentation is still there. But this can be very frustrating. A repeated same laser treatment may not really be the thing to do. I think firstly, we really need to find out what is the diagnosis. Is it pigmentation that is discrete or is it really part of melasma, which is a bit more complex? And if it's melasma, then there's a pathology to melasma. There is a defect in the basement membrane. Melasma cells are sensitive. We've got an active blood vessel layer that secretes factors. So these things really need to be addressed and often we are really looking at not just one treatment but a combination of treatments. So with melasma aside, we also need to think about the depth of the pigmentation. Sometimes we need to vary the type of lasers that we use, also the setting. The wavelength is important, the spot size. We also need to understand whether that particular laser is doing more of the browns, more of the reds. And then there are also the concept of dwell time. You know, how long are you going to spend on the spot? Uh, and also to watch out for pigment endpoints because without an endpoint, you're probably not going to achieve the result. And if you overdwell on an endpoint, you might actually end up on the other side, which is post inflammatory hyperpigmentation. So, all these things are important. It's important to really zoom in with the correct tool and also for the correct duration. And sometimes it's really about treating it just enough and not too much.